What is up, everyone? Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing basketball. Uh, you know, we started leaning heavier on basketball. It's, uh, you know, fun for me along with, uh, I think, that I'm more proficient at it. But we're always going to do more uh, breaks. But uh, I love basketball, I think, comes through. So that's why those videos might be doing better. But uh, here we are. <laughs> so anyways, uh, so 1983-1984 Upper Deck Basketball Special Edition. Uh, what's special about this box is this one has a behind-the-glass opportunity. So there are three... I think three different versions of this. There's a West special edition and an East. And the difference was you could get uh, East had like, you know, Eastern all-star player die cuts and West had all-star player die cuts. So there was also behind the glass opportunities in those. However, those were like redemption cards that are like really rare, which you can't get anymore. So we don't want those. And in this one, you can get the behind the glass. Uh, it's one in every 30 packs, I believe. So we'll see what else we can get. There's electric court, electric court gold, which would be awesome. Penny Hardaway, uh, Anthony or uh, Chris Weber, bigger, uh, biggest rookies in this class. Um, yeah, I was holding break into this. I've not opened this. I remember having some of these packs, but I've not definitely not. You said see those factory sealed. I definitely cannot uh, remember cracking these open. So, uh, but. The goal card, of course, is the Michael Jordan behind the glass uh, insert card, which is one in every 30 packs, which means we basically got one opportunity. Uh, maybe the basketball card guys will be nice and these won't be bricked and we can pull one, but we'll see. So there's our packs for the special edition, not East, not West, special edition uh, specific. And our odds right there. So behind the glass, one in every 30. Electric gold are one in every 36. So both of those are pretty rare. Um, so let's just go ahead and break into this. I'm not sure um, if they've left players out because of the Eastern, Western, or whatever. But yeah, these are these are okay. okay. I uh, see. It's we're gonna have to be careful because it looks like there's foil inside sheen, so those can uh, damage your corners. But they are um, like barely together. So I've you know we've broken a lot on this channel. So these are gonna be uh somewhat uh take some time to pull apart so what i like to do now is i'll pull out one stack separate them keep the packs as they were and then we can roll through them really quick uh so we usually do about four slide cuts uh that's the the thing with mid 90s is you know you're gonna that it's dicey with the the gloss and the and the condition it was kept in so in order to make this a fun break we'll go ahead and crack open a one stack of these packs to stop one stack and then roll through and we'll see what we can uh, pull pull out of our first stack here. Okay, so uh, that's our first stack. I always save one pack to, uh, I try to, so that you can see, uh, you know, sometimes you're looking at these to see how bad they brick. And uh, these aren't bad, actually. The sheen is having them stick together, which does take a long time. So, you know, I'll do a pack opening. I won't uh, really look at the cards. I'll just take them apart as gingerly as possible. And then I'll set the packs as they were. So we can go through them, but uh, so we'll go one pack, so that way it's uh, you still get the open pack feel. Uh, so there's Sean Elliott right there. Um, you can see they come apart pretty easily. The sheen's not bad, but the cuts on these are interesting. Um, so here's like a Lakers uh, clipping. This is uh, <clears throat> Doug Christie. You see they were doing something there, and uh, you can get electric cords like that. But the cuts on these it's interesting now that I've got them in my hands. AC Green can be a little uh, rough. So like they're straight, but they're they, you can feel like there's like a like a flaking depending on where it was getting cut, like this one on the top. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, so it's interesting. But I do believe there's a checklist. I do believe that there is a, still a Jordan here. Jordan 93 was uh, focused on his uh, nice. There's Chris Weber. So this is a uh, all, NBA All-Star uh, and uh, rookie card, so I believe. So that's great. We'll set that up there. Uh, Jordan was focused on his baseball career. So... Um, you know, but they still worked them into this set. It's like a full uh, face uh, portrait, like retirement card, I believe. There's Chris Mullins. So I uh, still would like to get one of that. And on the back is him uh, in his baseball duds. So it's Tim Perry. And could have been just in the Eastern edition. I'm not sure. Uh, there's Pete Myers. And so you can see these aren't bad when they're coming apart. John Williams and uh, Felton Spencer, but they are time consuming so let's go through these other packs in this first stack see uh what we got here all right there's nick mcmullen d brown harold minor so you see the back of the cards look pretty good i mean this looks like classic upper deck 
Sky, uh, Skiles right there. Here's uh, Patrick Ewing. So these can actually still have value. I know that some people don't like them because they look like off-cut and stuff, but uh, electric courts of great players, of course, will still fetch you some money. There is uh, Matumbo, J.R. Reed, Ricky Pierce twice. Uh, there's uh, Eddie uh, Johnson, Todd Day, and our electric court as Isaiah Ryder. So in the other uh, hobby boxes, the East and the West, I believe you get an electric court per pack, but I don't think that's the case on, on the special edition. But the good thing is that we can get our electric court uh, possible pull, which is, you know, a really, really long, big long shot. Uh, there's Chris Weber again, so I guess that would be considered another rook. Uh, there's Mark Price all-star card right there. Stacy Ogman with uh, Eldon Campbell to back him up. Nick Van Exel. There's Gary Payton right there. Uh, Rumel Robinson, Clifford Robinson, twice. So I, I pulled these apart. I didn't really, like, look at them. I just wanted to make sure I got them apart, and then I set them down. But I did notice a lot of those double hits like that. There's Chris Weber... Uh, right there so getting a lot of these and then it's like i i didn't think i had any issues because there's a little whitening on top so i still have to be more careful there's patrick ewing electric court news clipping all right and then here's a o'neill hardaway so it has penny on it so i guess it would be considered uh, another uh well i guess another rook and uh, there's walt williams tyrone hill there's uh chris mills it's weird that they had that little whitening on top because I was like they came apart. They literally just like I didn't feel like there was any issues. So I guess it's just the rough cuts. You can see how the whitening is on top there. Doug Christie twice again. Oliver Miller, Def Shrimp, and then Ken Norman right there. Uh, electric Court. So uh, I guess since we're getting a lot of doubles, if we can pull a double uh, Jordan retirement or uh, some really random uh, double double hit of behind the glass that they didn't mean to do, that'd be sick. Uh, there's uh, Christian Leitner. Um, there's Danny Manning, the Magnificent, uh, Popeye Jones. So these all-star cards, uh, they just kind of have some info on the back. Uh, Antonio Davis, Doug West, uh, Derek McKee, uh, Clarence Witherspoon right there. Um, and Nate McMillan again. And then there's uh, Penny Hardaway. So I do like the way they put the magic on the side or the team name in uh, foil. So there's a lot of different foil stamps on this. The Sheen's pretty good. This card came out great. So... Uh, happy to get this one, you know, Penny, I think was a favorite for a lot of people. And I know that Kobe kind of became like the, like right after Penny, like the, you know, cause th the next Jordan, but, uh, there was a time when Penny was supposed to be that guy. Like every time you'd see a card, it was Penny versus Jordan, or, uh, they would talk about how he's the next Jordan. So I think, and there's a uh, electric court, uh, Victor Alexander. Uh, so they would always talk about how like Penny's that guy and Penny was amazing. And then, uh, you know, but realistically, I think it went like kobe and then lebron as far as like those that level right uh could you know everyone has their favorites could be wrong uh there's popeye jones sam cassell uh tyrone corbin andrew lang there's bobby hurley it's nick van exel right there Lindsay hunter and there's reggie miller really stretching it out for that dunk <laughs> uh bill cartwright uh dino bimbo coles and then another felton spencer electric course so it looks like maybe we are getting one per pack still which is nice so um like I said, I didn't look them. I didn't look at them when I was break, uh, peel, like peeling them, like pulling them apart too much because I wanted to experience the break. But uh, there's Derek Coleman followed up by Dennis Scott. So it looks like yeah, there's another electric court right there. So that's cool. So added benefit. Uh, Buck Williams. There's Thurl Bailey, Brian Williams. There's a uh, Dennis Rodman on the Spurs. So that's good. Billy Owens. It's Patrick Ewing right there. Ewing. And uh, PJ Brown is our uh, NBA All-Star Weekend highlights. So I see Chris Webber was behind him there. All right, so two more uh, packs for the first stack, and then we'll uh, get into our second our second stack. So there's a back-to-back -back Dale Ellis. So yeah, like I so said, we're getting a lot of those. Don McLean. Uh, there's Mark Jackson right there. Uh, Bennett Benjamin, Sidel Threat, and Sam Cassell. Reggie Williams, Michael Adams, and Electric Court is John Stockton. That's cool. I don't think I had this one. A uh, little newspaper clipping. I wasn't a huge fan of newspaper clippings, but, you know, great player. And if he has a little Electric Court, you know, why not? It changes it up. So last pack for the first stack. And we'll see if we can get that epic behind the glass, Jordan. There's uh, Isaiah Ryder right there. There's Robert Ory. Uh, PJ Brown again. Sam Perkins. Here is Sean Elliott twice. So, yeah, see, like, a lot of that. Uh, really nice Scotty Pippen right there. I really dig this card. I like the way they put forward, like, it kind of uh, understated, too. The 
There's a lot going on, even though it looks like just a classic, uh, not too busy card. And then Kevin Wills right there. So that's our first stack. So let's get into our uh, second stack and see where we're at uh, for this break. Okay, so let's get into our uh, second stack here and uh, see what we got. So I did notice that uh, some of the electric core cards are actually thicker, which is weird because they, uh, you can see, actually you can see it really well. Like there's like discoloration on some of them, especially the thicker ones. So uh, we'll have to take a look at that, but um, still looking for, yeah, there's electric card there. Uh, Michael Jordan um, behind the glass. Hopefully we can get that. Uh, we did pull, uh, there's a Carl Malone electric cord, so I like that. You see they're a little thicker, but they're also discolored because they're thicker. So I'm not sure what's the, what the deal is with that. Um, let's see. Yeah, and this one's stuck. This pack stuck pretty good. Some of them got, it's funny, there's really no damage. Or I mean, if it is, it's like I, I can't do anything about it because it's like they're falling apart easily. But like they, uh, the give has to be right, like where you're putting the pressure. So there's a regular Carl Malone. We just pulled that electric cord there. Jeff Turner. Chuck Person. Timber Wolves. Mario Ellie. Xavier McDaniels. Or McDaniel. Rex Chapman. John Starks right there. So when they, uh, like I said, you saw that was stuck together but when they came apart they looked good you didn't hear too much of that cracking sound which is which is nice so let's go ahead and see who else we got in our second stack so there's a uh, gerald wilkins danny angie mugsy bogues right there Ooh. uh there's chris morris there's a nice lj larry johnson see there's foil in the back as well the uh, card so if they stick over time maybe 10 years from now even uh, you'll see it with baseball cards with upper deck. The foil in the back there will come off, and that'll really affect the grading. So uh, be careful with the backs of the cards as well. Um, there's Byron Scott. There is uh, Glenn Rice. Chris Weber, number two, I think. So that's good. Uh, Eddie Johnson. There's Clyde the Glide. If anyone could look cool with uh, just the hair around the, the sides of the head, it's Clyde. <laughs> so... Keep rolling here. So here is uh, Dino. Here's another uh, checklist for us. And then Jamal Mashburn, Vernon Maxwell. There's Greg Anthony with AC Green, Bill Cartwright, Reggie Miller again. Uh, Lindsey Hunter, Doug West twice. So we're doing a lot of these. I don't know if it was because they started to do like pa succession packs or like double printed and then sent them out. And then, you know, once they started printing them out, the packs started getting randomly shuffled i'm not sure and those were next to each other a lot uh yeah not sure how that worked but uh there's otis thorpe sean kemp right there that's nice sean kemp uh wayne uh wayman tisdale sherman douglas uh tisdale again is isaiah Ryder. uh mitch richmond loy uh pete myers and then our electric court gold is uh thorough bailey so something for someone a little better i mean anthony would have been sweet uh you can see the top the whitening pretty apparent like the card stock it's like the stock is like brittle it's weird it's like the the it's it's together because of the gloss and the and the picture but the stock it's like i can feel some of the uh some of it like falling apart or uh like the almost the card like falling apart so these are probably gonna be tough to grade long term if you don't keep them uh in good condition uh there's another penny Chris Gatling, there's Zoe, Alonzo Morning, so that's a nice card right there. Nick Van Exel, Mario Ellie, Nick Van Exel again. Uh, Tyrone Hill, Kevin Wills, Derek Coleman, and there's our Electric Court card at the end of the pack. Um, so let's go ahead and just keep rolling here. There's Electric Court, Chris Mills. Uh, Loiva, Doug West, there's Brian Williams, there's Dennis Rodman again. And Sean Rooks, Scott Brooks, Tom Gugliotta, there's Clifford Robinson, and Isaiah Ryder again. You see, like, there's, like, a line, like a pressed line, too. So I feel like this box is, is in good condition, actually, considering what I'm looking at, uh, I think. But um, usually when cards have that line, it means there's pressure in the middle. And when there's pressure in the middle of the packs, uh, and long-term with bad gloss, not that this is pretty good, 
uh, those are the ones that end up peeling really bad later on. Um, Lindsey Hunter, so Tony Kukoc, Patrick Ewing. So if you ever get packs that feel like tight here, uh, you're going to have to really slow down. Uh, David Robinson, I'm not sure if we've gotten David like this, but that's a pretty nice card right there. The Admiral, Lonzo Mourning, Buck Williams, BJ Armstrong, and Michael Jordan. <laughs> so uh, I did sleeve this up because I really wanted this. It was like a personal card. So this is Johnny Kilroy. This is a fake player. Uh, so Jordan, when he retired, it was abrupt. And they did a Nikes commercial for his Air Jordans 4, from what I understand. And he, uh, you know, came out in some garb one time and, like, dunked on Lonzo Mourning and was playing around. It was for a commercial for his Nike Air 4s. That's why he's wearing number 4. Uh, so, but when they re he retired, they needed, a, like, a filler because they'd already kind of, like, I think worked him into the set and they needed to do something. So they took... So he actually came out wearing this garb. It wasn't, like, Photoshopped or anything. And you could tell they put, like, you know as little as possible on here but this is actually michael jordan uh you can see it looks like jordan uh in costume with a fake e uh, alter ego that he had and uh it's like a part of his shoe line and stuff so uh the value on these is actually not that big right now but i personally believe that this card long term uh when people kind of get adrift that it is jordan it is him like in his alter ego on a real legit card you know, if you get it in Gem Mint 10 or maybe an electric cord of this, um, I think that actually it's going to end up being worth a lot. So it's a long-term investment move for sure, but still really cool Jordan card uh, of Johnny Kilroy. So that's a little something on that. Larry Johnson, Michael Adams, Kevin Johnson, Brian Williams, electric cords so there right there. So two more packs for the second stack, and then we'll uh, keep going. Hopefully we can get the behind the glass. Uh, maybe it's uh, is a redemption only in this one. It says collect all of them, and it says one in every 30 packs. So hopefully it's not just a redemption card. If it is, I'm going to be bummed out. But uh, Jim Jackson, Robert Ory, Charles Oakley, Don McLean, Dale Curry, Kevin Gamble, Joe Dumars. Uh, I bought it thinking that I knew that they had the redemption ones separate, and those are actually more rare, and they're in the hobbies of East and West. And then the special edition, I, um, I'm, un I'm under the assumption that there is a behind-the-glass uh, possibility in the box uh sam cassell so we'll find out at the end of this video <laughs> this is uh michael adams uh oliver miller victor alexander jerome kersey there's horse grant just charles barkley so this pack was good you can see it looks pretty good um leon simmons chris gatling there's zoe again i guess i'm still doing my random off thing there's a uh, robinson takes command so that's one of our news uh, paper articles. And then there's Chris Mills. So that is our second stack. So let's get into our third stack. See where we're at. See if we can't pull any more fake Jordans or uh, <laughs> hopefully a Jordan behind the glass uh, insert. All right. So this is our pack. So we opened our third stack. And this will be the last pack in this stack. And then we'll see what we were able to uh, get out of here. Uh, there's Ricky Pierce. Sonic's uh, card for the newspaper clipping. Um, there is Kenny Smith, Latrell Sprewell, Tyrone Hill, Kevin Gamble right there, another Sean Kemp. So that's good. Sean Kemp right there. Felton Spencer. I'm not sure how long that guy played for. I have to look at the back of his card later. There's AC Green. Here's Eric Murdoch. Hey, you can see if we did every pack this way. Whew, man, it's a, it's a long, slow burn. We've done them that way, but we're trying to... If they're a little sticky, then we're doing it this way. So that way we can still enjoy the break and see what we get without uh, taking up the whole day. <laughs> but uh, there's a uh, Celtics tradition. Here's Jamal Mashburn. There's Glenn Rice. Uh, here's a checklist. Here is Brian Russell, BJ Armstrong, Chris Morris, uh, Anthony Peeler. There's a nice Keem Olajuwon. So let's take, take those Akeems. Uh, Spud Webb, Brick Smiths, and then our electric core is, uh, Scott Brooks. And yeah, these things are super thick. And you can, I think you can see the yellowing, um, on this. It's, it's really odd. They're all yellowed. So I don't know what the card stock was at the time, but... It was brittle, I think. I think it wasn't meant for a long-term... Uh, I mean, they're holding up, but not, like, super long-term. Uh, keep them pristine. There's uh, Chris Weber, so take that. Uh, Tom Gugliotta, John Williams, Xavier McDaniel, Wayman Tisdale, Joe Dumars, 
Terry Porter, Dale Davis, Lord, um, Lloyd Daniels, there's Jim Jackson, and this is Tony Kukoc for our other card there. So here's Horace Grant, Mutumbo, Ken Norman, Nick Anderson, twice, did a lot of those twice, John Battle, uh, and there is Steve Smith, so that's nice. Uh, Popeye Jones. Here is a back-to-back -back checklist. So <laughs> these uh, back-to-backers know no bounds. Uh, Sean Bradley. And then here's a nice Anthony Hardaway uh, NBA All-Star Weekend. So that's a nice hit right there. I'm I'm into this one. So slide this in. To, uh, so let's, uh, I guess we'll set it there. I have like 30 of those black stands, but I'm more of like a two stand with some supporting actors kind of guy. <laughs> but uh, there's Brian Russell. Oh, I guess I left Christian Leitner down there. Uh, McLean, uh, there's Mac Price, another Mutombo. Doc Glenn Rivers. There's Mario Ellie. We've got another Akeem there. Anthony Peeler, Jeff Malone, Michael Williams. And we've got four packs in this third stack. There's Patrick Ewing. Uh, there's another Lonzo Morning. Got a lot of Lizzo. I mean, they go there, but I use filter back through, anyways. Sean Rooks, Clarence Witherspoon, and uh, there is Lachelle Sprewell and Tim Perry. All right, so we got uh, Calbert uh, Cheney there. We pulled this nice shack. Uh, you know, the cards are, again, because they're black bordered, like you can see all the imperfections. So when they're great, they're great, but when there's uh, black, there's imperfections, it's uh, pretty apparent. So I sleeved it up. I pretty much immediately had to. Um, this will just put you in Anthony right there. Andrew Lang, there's Carl Malone, Moses Malone. There's uh, Charles Barkley again, Brad Daughtry, Craig Elio, there's a Popeye Jones. And Isaiah Ryder is our electric court card for that so two more packs on the third stack and still uh no behind the glass anything so we'll see last stack magic uh pj brown sherman douglas tyrone corbin there's isaiah Ryder. there's nick van exel sam perkins brad daudry uh nice isaiah thomas right there and carl malone electric court we've gotten one of these before and i'm all about it but I'd like to maybe get an e-wing a u-wing or a anthony hardaway would be pretty pretty awesome uh there's uh antonio davis this is jamal mashburn uh the newspaper one there's a nice david robinson again the admiral uh Derek harper sam cassell gerald wilkins and there's a nice joe dumars clyde the glide drexler and uh kevin edwards okay so that was our third stack we have no sighting of any behind the glass anything so hopefully it's in the stacks and uh, we did pull some cool cards so far i'm pretty happy with that kilroy uh, i know it's weird but i am uh, but let's see what we can get out of here maybe a jordan retirement card or the behind the glass uh pull which would be extremely epic so let's go ahead and get into that all right last stack for us on this uh, 1983 1984 upper deck se uh, special edition uh not specific east or west I did look at the box again uh, while I was doing the uh, the cards, and it does say that there is an insert uh, behind the glass and one every 30 packs, and then there's the trade-in version, which is the one I was talking about before, that uh, is one in every 360 packs. So that's not the one we want because we're not going to be able to get it. But uh, there's Larry Johnson right there, Electric Court. That's a nice one. Um, but we do want Electric, uh, sorry, behind the glass uh, Jordan uh, insert card. So... We'll see how we did. Steve Kerr. We haven't gotten Steve Kerr yet. Uh, Doc Rivers on our last stack here. And there we go. Brian Scott and Anthony Peeler for that pack. All right. So let's get through this last stack. Here's a Pippin Returns to the Bulls. And uh, there's a... Bennett Benjamin, Reggie Jordan. So I don't think we've gotten Reggie Jordan yet. Uh, Terry Mills, Tyrone Hill, Mark Jackson. There's Kevin Gamble, Tyrone Hill, Robert Parrish, and uh, Jim Jackson, Electric Court for that pack. Uh, Lloyd Daniels, Brian Russell, Ken Norman, 
Danny Angie, Danny Manning. There's uh, Ken Edwards, Vernon Maxwell right there. Uh, Todd Day, Derek Harper, Nick Van Exel, and uh, Isaiah Ryder followed up by Jeff Malone, Electric, Electric Court. All right, and uh, Ken, uh, Kendall Gill, Charles Oakley, here's Steve Kerr again, and boom, right there, that was our, this is our behind the glass hit. It is of uh, Ron Harper, who I personally liked a lot, but I mean, he's probably one of the, the lowest tiered guys on this. So it says uh, G15, we want G11. So we'll have to come back to this box uh, at some point and look for that uh, Michael Jordan behind the glass. Still high, high foil, really, really good looking cards, so. I uh, did also confirm, it is nice to confirm that uh, you can do what you're trying to do. So that was our behind the glass hit right there. Uh, if you're still here with me, we appreciate the um, support. We are growing the channel, so a, uh, if you hit that like and subscribe, we uh, appreciate it. Uh, there's Electric Court, Carl Malone. We'll finish out these packs. Dennis Scott, Bobby Hurley, Walt Williams, and there is Antonio Davis. Uh, Tom Chambers, Mookie, right there. Jim Jackson, Sam Cassell, Oliver Miller, Ron Harper. That's a really sharp-looking, crispy card right there. Um, Byron Russell, Bimbo Coles, Reggie Williams, and there's Electric Court, uh, Tony Kukoc, uh, NBA All-Star, which would be nice to get a uh, penny that way. So, we'll see. Anthony Peeler, uh, I did pull a second... Uh, johnny kilroy um you know so i'll put the link to the video uh one of the videos of the commercial in the description box if you want to watch it it kind of talks about who johnny kilroy is and it's definitely linked to jordan's uh business and his uh shoes um and his air jordan releases and stuff like that so still i think it's a cool card uh there's dino uh and then doug smith doc rivers kevin duckworth Frank Johnson, Byron Russell, there is Jamal Mashburn, All-Star, and then a Celtics newspaper clipping. Uh, Sean Bradley, Anthony Mason, we did get another uh, Anthony Hardaway right there. Uh, NBA All-Star, looking pretty nice, so like those. Derek Coleman, Blue Edwards, Rod Strickland, Horace Grant, there's Dan Marger, uh, Chuck Pearson, Popeye Jones, Isaiah Ryder. Uh, to finish out that pack. So two packs left. Again, thanks for uh, seeing this break. And hopefully you're uh, looking to get one of your own. You can kind of see what you're in for. There's uh, James Worthy. That's pretty cool. Uh, Scotty Pippen to follow him up. So that's a really nice pack. Love this, Scotty. Uh, John Stockton we have not got. So I'm happy to get John Stockton there. There's BJ Armstrong, Ron Harper. Um, there's Mutombo, Tony Kukoc, and uh, Lafonso Ellis. And then now we're our last pack. 1993, 1984, Upper Deck, Special Edition, not East or West specific. Hershey Hawkins. There's uh, Ken Edwards, uh, Sean Bradley, Pooh Richardson, Danny Angie, Anthony Mason, Dominique Wilkins, which I actually don't think we've gotten Dominique yet, so that's nice. And uh, Brad Daughtry, and we're going to finish it out with uh, Calvert Chaney. So thanks for being here. We're going to, as you can see, bring you a lot more uh, insert chases in basketball and a whole bunch of other content, and we'll see you on the next break. Bye -bye.